Today marks 58 years since Cal Poly's football team was in a deadly plane crash, killing 22 of the 48 people on board. Tonight, 23 ABC's Leah Pizzetti brings us the story of how the crash rocked the San Luis Obispo community and also affected locals here in Kern County. It's a story of friendship, a group of Bakersfield boys who grew up playing football together on local fields like this one here at Bakersfield High School. They then went on to Cal Poly together, hoping to start the next chapters of their lives. But for some, it ended up being the last. Flipping through the pages. I see. Uh... Their boyhood days of growing up in Bakersfield are long gone, but the memories still remain. When you grow up with them from the fourth, fifth grade on, through high school, through junior college, through college, you know, and each other's weddings and that stuff, you know. We, we were just, uh, we were a family of guys. Larry Austin, Joe Copeland, and Carl Bowser. And then we ended up at Cal Poly together. The three played for Cal Poly with goals of returning to Bakersfield as football coaches. We had the desire to come back and coach the drillers together because we were all drillers. And we were arguing over who's going to be the head coach. <laughs> But that didn't get that didn't happen. So dreams cut short because of tragedy. Probably would have if they'd have lived. Probably would have. October 29, 1960. The Cal Poly football team had played their away game in Ohio and were heading home in foggy conditions. I remember getting out of off, out of the bus and I couldn't even see the airplane. It was probably maybe 20 yards away and I couldn't even see it. Carl recalls when the plane took off. Now I can remember us breaking out of the fog and I could see the stars and then right then the plane just started vibrating. We lost power and we went back down and we crashed. Killing 22 of the 48 people on board and Carl was almost one of them. When he boarded, a teammate asked to take Carl's seat so Carl moved. He said in that seat and he got killed. Had I sat in that seat because he just flew forward. There was nothing in front of him. So that's, that saved my life. Two who weren't as lucky, his best friends, Larry and Joe. I've thought about it a lot. I've prayed about it, and, and I, I just hope that they were killed instantly because it was, it was bad. Both were recently married, Larry with a new son. At the time, I had wished that I lost my life and Larry kept his life because he had children. I didn't. It would have been a lot easier for me to die than for him to die, you know, but you don't get that choice. Without his two friends, Carl finished at Cal Poly, where he then met his wife. He lived out their childhood dreams, returning home to become the football coach at Bakersfield College, working at the school for 30 years. When he and his wife finally had a son. My son is named after Larry Austin and Joe Copeland. His name is uh, Larry Joe. His way of honoring his friends and Cal Poly also working to honor the lives lost. We all play for everyone who came before us and that includes the 1960 plane crash. Senior football player Dominic Frash says the two memorials on campus are his reminder to keep the victims in his thoughts. One stands outside the stadium made up of 18 pillars for the 18 Mustangs killed and inside a memorial rock, which 58 years after the crash, the team still gathers around before every home game praying for the men on that 1960 team. And everyone touches it and then just kind of reminder of, you know, you never know when your last play is going to be, so you got to play as hard as you can. Dominic playing for every member of that team, including Carl. <laughs> I kind of think about, um, you know, how lucky I am that my grandpa was a survivor because I wouldn't be here if so. So I kind of just take that all in. Carl is Dominic's grandfather and so much more. Coach, mentor, idol. Carl is proud to see his grandson play on the same team he once played on. And Dominic is inspired by the courage and dedication his grandfather shows. My mom's told me from day one that their big thing was just always continue to live their lives for those guys who passed away. Carl still visits the graves of his two friends every year. Oh, yeah. Larry and Joe are buried next to each other at Green Lawn Cemetery. The survivor says this is fitting for the two friends who quite literally started and ended their lives together. They were born side by side. Their mothers were in the same room. And then later in life, they were sitting side by side in the airplane when it crashed and they died side by side. Next to each other from the start to the end and staying that way in their eternal resting place. 
just two of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 22 eight. lives lost. Gone, but never forgotten. In Bakersfield, Leah Pizzetti, 23 ABC. Incredible story and a name you might know is football legend John Madden. Madden was also a member of the Cal Poly football team and while he wasn't on the plane at the time of the crash, Carl says that crash in addition to other plane scares are the reason he doesn't fly. Madden is known for driving his bus to games.